I'm literally quite confident. Like I can, I, I felt like, okay, give me anything from Tableau. At least I can do much more better. You know? Hello all, welcome to another episode of Career Transition with Ejereka. I'm Reshma Ramachandra and today we have with us Mr. Suresh who will be sharing his career transition story with us. So Suresh has done uh, Tableau certification with Ejereka and he was successfully uh, you know, able to crack a job in Accenture and it also helped him a lot in his life project. So let's go ahead and know more about his uh, story today. Hi Suresh, a very warm welcome to you. Hi Reshma, thanks for the welcome. I am so glad to be here to share my experience with Ejureka. Thank you. Thank you so much, Suresh. So let's begin the show with a brief introduction about yourself. Yeah, sure. I'm into IT from uh, since four years from now. So initially I worked with Infosys for two years and later I switched to Accenture and currently working on uh, with Accenture right now. So my primary skills which I am working right now are uh, in data analytics. Those include Tableau, SQL and PLSQL, Open Text, Magellan and all. So initially I worked with Infosys in networking domain and later I made a career, career transition into data analytics and uh, currently working on that. Uh, so Suresh, yeah. when did you realize that it's a time for career transitions? What was your reason behind doing uh, a career transition for yourself? Yeah, sure, Reshma. I would like to share a story if, uh, regarding my career transition with you. So when my, when I'm studying my engineering and I'm in my final year of BTEC, you know, uh, they gave me an internal training on Tableau and data analytics domain. So when I'm when I'm going through those classes and all, right, I realized like, okay, I'm in try. I realized like I'm quite interested in data data analytics domain. So I decided like when I come to job once after I completed engineering. I should do. I should. I do. I should work on data analytics, and I like data analytics quite a lot. So then I then I got selected in Infosys and campus interview, and uh, there I got uh, networking stream as my domain. Uh, and after working with Infosys for two years, I uh, then I thought like, okay, this is not uh, what I wa- what I want to do, and I don't see my future in networking domain and all. I don't say networking domain is bad and. Uh, and and it's not good i i can say like it's not it's not the area of interest of mine so uh, my area of interest was data analytics so then i decided to change for a career so there, then i decided for a career transition so i should make a move into data analytics domain right now mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right that's interesting so suresh once you made a decision how did you go ahead and um, you know plan self introspect and execute your uh, you know journey of career transition so can you tell us more about your journey and why you choose edureka yeah sure reshma like as i already uh, shared with you uh, from interested in data analytics domain from my college time uh, itself so when i am working with infosys in networking domain i am quite practicing uh, parallelly you know i am working in the project and practicing parallelly the data analytics and tableau and all i am mostly interested in tableau so i am practicing it uh, i am making my time i just i am making my time adjustments and giving some time for practice in tableau because you know when i when i make a career transition in future and I, when i really enter into some live project uh okay. they 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 will expect a quite a lot from us you know it's a, it's a real time project they expect a lot i can't simply go with, into that project without any proper hands on so i am i'm i'm actually learning this uh, tableau parallelly and uh, i'm referring few sources which can help me with my with my learning and improve my uh, learning quality so i've been through so many sources reshma during that time so i'm referring quite a lot of lot of videos and lot of youtube sources and a lot of other sources for uh, some good quality source of tableau learning so i have i've been through ejureka few times i've been to few other sources and I, when i'm going through all that journey so at some point of time i realized like uh, ejureka is more closer to my learning and it's more professional life i felt it that way it's more professional it's giving more structured learning and it's like it's more inclined to the real time projects as well i felt uh, personally like it's more inclined to real time projects and interviews and uh, in real time technical tasks so the that point of time i decided okay i should stick on to ejureka for all technical thing and for proper hands on and tableau and i also a uh, uh, few for few months i referred all the ejureka tableau videos as well i completed almost all of them and then i i want like i'm i want like i want to take a full time certification course with ejureka 
because uh, it gives me a proper structured learning and and uh, i think like i thought like you know uh, what if if youtube videos can share me a good knowledge uh, how how the certification will make me much more better so i thought it will be the best step to take so i i chose edureka at that point of time to take a course in tableau interesting so suresh once you you got into the course with edureka so how was your experience can you share your experience about your learning journey and um, how was the instructors how was the support and how was the material so can you you know um, tell us more about uh, your hands on and all the experience that you had during this course of journey Uh, sure, Reshma. I'm quite excited to share all these things and my uh, quality learning experience uh, with Edureka. So when I decided to join Edureka for Tableau course, I called init initially. I called Edureka and they explained me clearly what are the sessions we will be having, what are the materials we will be sharing, and what are the uh, things which we will be dealing with, and what will be the assignments. They told me the uh, the the, uh, the the complete uh, thing which I will be going into the course. so then i thought okay uh, so initially before because i already decided should, like i should stick to edureka for some quality certification course uh, then i joined with edureka at that point of time so i would say like i have some great lovely support from mentors and instructors you know it's like a it's like a friendly discussion in the online class it's not like somebody is teaching and i should should listen it's not in a strict way and it's not in a, a complete technical way it's like they are they are like uh, list they really want to help me they really want to uh, uh, give me some good technical knowledge which they have they really want to genuinely want to share everything uh, which is very which is very close to uh, real time projects and project alignments you know so the, i have a i have a very good uh, mentor support uh, you know when i when i when i'm attending the sessions obviously we will have some doubts while doing assignments and quizzes so i should i i used to raise a ticket for my clarification of the doubts so within uh, within very few time within very few hours and within very less time mentor used to reach me used to spend quality time with me he used to share his screen he used to explain not only on the question which i am having he used to share his own experience he used to share how I, how i should see myself in tableau and how should i should how i should see myself in data analytics domain and he used to explain me everything which i didn't ask for also so mm -hmm. and coming to instructors they they have been very uh, they they go very deep into the topics which they are explaining like you know uh, sometimes at sometimes i used to uh, think okay this is the thing which i don't know at, at all so they are covering like all the deep technical things as well and coming to assignments they are, those are really unmatchable reshma you know the assignments which edureka is providing the case studies especially the quizzes and all they give the they give you they give you the perfect hands on required for a real time project initially i used to be very uh, you know i used to be very less confident i used to think like whether when i go to real time project or whether i can match the expectation whether i can give myself for proper contribution in technical tasks and all so once i have been through this, these assignments case studies and all those things right i am literally quite confident like i can i, I felt like okay give me anything from tableau at least i can do much more better you know i'm that i'm that level of quite confident once i'm uh, after we after taking course with edureka great great that's wonderful suresh so uh, how is the reaction from your colleagues and your family after you were able to crack a job and have this free transition today yeah so i when i told that i am making a career transition into uh, some uh, some uh, accenture company you know on tableau and all so initially my friends thought uh, very happy because they know i am interested in data analytics but until now i didn't get a chance so i also told them i have been with edureka as well i am i am also uh, certified uh, certified in edureka i completed so course in edureka and i certified mm -hmm. so when i told them they literally very happy for me you know and uh, they they told that uh, the, some of them know quite uh, good things about edureka few of them told that uh, it's good decision that you preferred edureka and all so when i go to real time project in accenture uh, we we have a large team over there large team of developers and all so i am i have been dealing with seniors and i have been dealing with juniors and it's a, it's a quite easy for me in technical thing because i have a proper structured learning from edureka which others don't have i feel so uh, so it's a quite easy for me to deal with that so sometimes my uh, fellow teammates who are juniors to me they they ask me like how did you come to know about this technical point 
how come you know this uh, much deep learning how much you know uh, where did you learn this all certification and all so i i already recommended uh, edureka for them i told them that i have been edureka but i have been with edureka for a few months and it's been a quite a good learning with edureka and i recommended them to go, go with edureka as well if they want uh, deep learning so it, then my colleagues also they are very happy with my uh, technical performance because i been i been into good structured learning with edureka that's nice suresh uh, it feels great to know about your journey and um, what are what's your advice for the other people who's watching this stream and planning for a career transition so can you give some advice as for viewers yeah sure uh, uh, reshma so career transition is not an easy ta- easy job easy task or yeah, easy decision to take because we will be working on the technology for the coming future years and we should uh, see our future in that so what i would like to suggest you know it's like we should have uh, consistency and hard working for uh, per- perfect career transition and also we should not blindly follow trending technologies or uh, if somebody is suggesting and some some person or our friends or someone someone is working over there and when they say it's good we should not blindly go into that and somebody say if somebody says it's trending and it's uh, very it's having great career opportunities we should not blindly go into that we should go we should go with uh, i would like uh, we should go with some trusted source like edureka uh, to to have a proper structured learning with it and we should we should evaluate ourselves whether we can match for that expectation whether we are suitable for that job role so when once you decided okay I am, this is what i want to do in coming future years and i will be quite satisfied when i do this job and it when it's close to your interest and all so when you decided that then you have to have consistency in that you should have some trusted source which can provide some structured learning and you should have consistency like you should daily uh, almost daily you should spend some time with it improve yourself upskill yourself continuously it's not like it should you should be like a student uh, continuous you should be a continuous learner you should not stop at some point of time you should learn continuously day by day you should compare yourself performance with previous day and you should uh, improve yourself day by day with continuous learning so upskilling should be a part and parcel of life that's where your yes yes it's very important reshma yeah great suresh so thank you so much for uh, being on this uh, show today it was wonderful to talk to you and uh, know about your wonderful journey with edureka and also about your career transition story suresh and um, i wish you all the best and for your future endeavors and thank you so much for doing this show thanks reshma and i wish i would like to thanks edureka i didn't get a chance to properly thank edureka until now but this gave me uh, some platform to do that i would love to thanks sachureka from bottom of my heart because i am at a completely uh, confusion state before uh, jo- making career transition sachureka may help me to make my mind clear and they it helped me to make a better decision and now uh, what i am doing and all right what well, the career which i am doing with the in the future yes i will be working with the domain and all i will be working in data analytics i would never forget the what sachureka gave me what knowledge they have shared me it's really helping me and i would i would greatly recommend uh, this thing to uh, who want to make some career transition and all okay thank you so much suresh that really means a lot so thank you all and uh, have a good day